Welcome to this week's Healthy Living Tip brought to you by Balanced Health and You. Hi, I'm Terry, and this week I want to share with you some holistic self-care winter tips. And that tends to be something that busy women like you, like me, we tend to put self-care on the back burner and we just kind of let ourselves slip away while we're so busy taking care of everybody else. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to share with you some really simple tips that you can use. No one will miss you. So especially if you got little children, you know, it's hard to take care of yourself. If you got little children and they're looking for you every time you uh, leave the room. So these are just some simple ones that you can do and, and to increase um, some, some healthiness in your life during the winter because that's really important in these uh, cold uh, dreary months. The first one I want to share with you is a warming drink and we we are experiencing some really cold weather and I, I don't do cold and it's been really cold in our um, area and so you know you go outside and you come in and you're still shivering you know 15 minutes later because it was so cold outside. So a warming drink is a, a really great way to bring the, the warmth from the inside out. And what you're doing is you're using some warming spices to, uh, to generate that inside warmth. We talked about warming spices last week on our monthly essential oil healthy living tips. So if you um, haven't been able to catch that video, I do encourage you to do so because we talked about all the types of oils that we can use during the winter. So uh, the, um, the spices are there again, they're, they're called warming spices. So the way you do this warming drink is you take eight ounces of almond milk. And if you're not typically one who purchases almond milk, it's very easy to make almond milk all at home and do it yourself. You can soak your almonds and then blend it with eight ounces of water. It would take um, a few hours to soak. Most people will soak the almonds overnight and then blend it with the water the next morning to have their almond milk. I'm a lazy cook. I don't, I have soaked the nuts and it's wonderful. But um, thank goodness for Pinterest, I discovered that you could actually buy organic almond butter. There's nothing in the jar but almond butter. No salt or anything like that. Two tablespoons of almond butter, eight ounces of water, put it in the blender, and you've got eight ounces of almond milk. So now I'm ready to make my warming drink. So I've got the, the milk, and you want to put a, a dash of cinnamon, a dash of cardamom, some ginger powder, and some turmeric powder, and if you want to, you can add a dash of nutmeg to it. Blend that up, warm it up, and you've got a really great warming drink. All those are warming spices. If you want a sweet drink, put a little squirt of maple syrup into your drink to sweeten it up. And it, that is a wonderful evening drink to have. And it beats having coffee all the time. Um, you know, when we get so cold, we tend to drink maybe or I do, one cup of coffee right after the other. But if I drink my warming drink, then I get warm and I'm satisfied. So give that a try uh, in the evenings. It's Like I said, it's a really great evening drink and really simple to make. Another self-care would be self-massage. And what you do there is you get some organic massage oils and you use those oils to give yourself a self-massage. And what this does is it, the oils will put that layer of protection on your skin to put that barrier there to keep your moisture in your skin. Plus, you're getting a double added benefit through the massage because that's increasing your circulation, getting that blood flowing into your skin, which makes your skin have that healthy, uh, rosy glow. So again, just um, very basic massage oils will do wonders and just, um, you know, just make it a habit to do that to keep your skin um, rejuvenated and moisturized. Uh, another tip is very simple to do is, um, well, along with the essential oil, with the massage, also get you some coconut oil. 
and keep that in your bathroom and put coconut oil on your body when you get out of the shower or the bath and just kind of um, slather that on. The coconut smell goes away so you don't smell like coconut all day long. But, um, but that's, I use that regularly. I use that daily. So that's an, um, along with the massage oils, give yourself the massage and then just keep the coconut oil handy for, um, for when you get out of the shower. And then if you've noticed during the winter, sometimes you may struggle to breathe. Your sinuses get real dry and um, kind of hurt sometimes to breathe. And that's because of the, there's no humidity in the air. Our heat is on in our homes, the heat is on where we work. If you're outside, there's no humidity and it's cold and the wind's blowing. And so basically your sinuses have, have really dried out really bad and it makes it difficult to breathe. So I recommend getting a humidifier for your home. If you can get a whole house humidifier, that's even better. But at least have a humidifier in a couple of rooms in the house to build that moisture back up into your air so that your breathing is easy and you're not struggling and your sinuses aren't basically drying out. And that'll just um, give you some overall help there also. So like I said, these are just um, some really quick, easy tips that you can use for some self-care to get us through the winter. If you've got some self-care tips that you use that you find are, are, have been really helpful, please share it in the comments uh, section below. We're always up for more tips, more ways to live healthy and to um, just you know nourish ourselves. And your skin is your biggest organ, so let's nourish it. Uh, one thing that I've been doing this winter that I have not done previously was I've been using shea butter. I was having some challenges with my fingernails. They were uh, very rigid and were splitting really bad. And so, um, just in some researching, it was basically suggested to put some shea butter at the base of your nail to build that moisture back up into your nail bed to alleviate the rigidness of your nails. Well, normally by October, November, I, my cuticles will crack severely. I mean, the really deep, deep crack where it's bleeding crack. And that's been going on for, for multiple years. And it's uh, and I expect it. I know that it's going to happen. I don't know what happens from September to October, but my thumb cuticles are going to crack. Well, because I've been using this shea butter on my cuticles and I've been just, you know, massaging my nails with the shea butter, I have not had any cracked cuticles this winter, which has been a blessing. And I've been putting the shea butter uh, every night on my nails and every night on the bottom of my feet and my heels have not cracked. So that's just another little self-care tip there is get you some shea butter, some organic shea butter, and just massage that into your skin as a body butter type thing and you will you will truly um, notice a difference. They've, they've, the shea butter has some healing properties to it and so that just makes it all the better. So I wanted to share these little quick self-care tips. You can do these and, uh, and like I said, nobody will miss you and you'll, you'll have done some self-care or if you have the luxury to be able to go and just spend some quiet time to yourself, go ahead and give yourself um, you know, a, a self-massage, make you your warming drink, get a good book, and life is good. So anyway, share some tips that you um, have found for yourself that's working real well this winter. And let's stay warm, let's stay healthy, and I will see you right back here next week with next week's Healthy Living Tips.